with us bombshell tonight a two-year-old little girl snatched from her own bedroom in the dark of night in the last hours zara's little prosthetic leg has been discovered discarded in an overgrown area off a county back road a new search is underway. Investigators have discovered a prosthetic leg. There is still searching going on. Consistent with what, what Zars would be like. The newest search site. The home, the Baker home. Where Zara Baker was reported missing. Okay, they may have taken my the information keeps leading back. Digging and digging. To this location. We will continue to follow every lead. Has stepmommy cracked. And every tip we receive. She loves her daughter. She is cooperating. She loves her daughter. She has been cooperating. She has tried to cooperate with the police. This woman is just like a shark. Baker joined police in the search. She's always moving forward. She has allegedly given them more information. She's destroying whatever is in her path. The family got rid of a mattress. Whether it's relationships. Started to point the fingers. Whether it's a stranger's bank account. Arrested on bad checks. Or in this case, whether it's a little girl. And then without them. Straight out to Rupa, Nicole, and Amy standing by at the Baker home there in Hickory, North Carolina. Rupa, I understand that FBI have just entered the home. I'll get to that in a moment, but first, I want to hear about the prosthetic leg. Tell me. Right, Nancy, we learned today from police, from authorities, that they found a prosthetic leg just yesterday, which they only chose to announce today. This prosthetic leg does match the description of Zara Baker's prosthetic leg. They are in the process of determining whether it is in fact Zara Baker's leg. Okay, Rupa, just, just save the niceties. How many child prosthetic legs do you think are out there? This is a subspecialty. It's more of a micro than a specialty. These things are only made in this specific way in a few places in the entire country. Of course, it's her leg, Rupa Michelinani. Where did they find it? Of course. They found it in an area where they were searching just yesterday based on a tip. And of course, Nancy, let's not forget that just in the last two days, Monday, the stepmother of Zara Baker, this is Elisa Baker, was in a police vehicle spotted in that area, pointing out areas where police should be searching. So it was on the heels of this search that they found this prosthetic leg. Okay, Liz, put me up my map. I want to take a look. Uh, we know that mommy is, stepmommy is rousted out of her private jail cell, taken in handcuffs in the back of a squad car. Take a look at this. The prosthetic leg is found a very short distance from the baker's former home and a very short different distance from where Elisa Baker was taken. Explain to me how close, Rupert Michelinani, was the leg found from where she was taken to that densely wooded area and that deep creek bed? We're only talking about seven to 10 miles, Nancy. This area is not all the different locations where police have been searching and where Zara was last seen and where the home is. It's really not very far from each other. So this particular prosthetic leg was found in an area where the Bakers used to reside. In fact, Elisa Baker, the stepmother, used to reside in that area. So one part of her body was found yesterday. And now, Nancy, I'm standing by waiting as FBI and police authorities are here in the house still tonight. They started early this morning searching, digging with backhoes, digging with rakes you know, sifting through the, the, the mulch and the dirt, looking for something that could appear to be small, small pieces of what we're not sure. Could it be another part of her body that they are seeking? We don't know, Nancy. What we do know is that investigators pulled out some evidence which they put in a black bag and removed, and as soon as they found that evidence, they left. Now they're back again tonight inside the house. For those of you just joining, the 10-year-old little girl Zara's prosthetic leg she lost uh, her leg above the knee to child bone cancer. She has also battled lung cancer. The prosthetic leg has been discovered in the last hours. Um, to you, Ellie Jostad, you're on the case. Ellie, what can you tell me about what they're searching for in the home? We're showing you video right now. They're back in the back area of the home with backhoes, with rakes. 
some of the dirt they're digging up with a backhoe, then some of it they're sifting through very, very carefully. They're not right. sifting through the dirt like they're panning for gold to look for a body, Ellie just said. They're looking for something else. Well, right, Nancy. And police wouldn't say what led them there. They say only that they're looking for evidence, that they're gathering evidence. Actually, the word they used was that technicians are gathering evidence at the scene. They say information they've just uncovered led them back there. As you said, they were using backhoes, heavy equipment to dig, but also doing a fine search. And also reporters were saying they could see them taking photographs as they were digging holes. What they were photographing, we don't know at this point. Back to Rupa Michelinani. Liz, please take her in full. I want to see what's behind her. Rupa, what are you saying? You're there at the home. What's happening? Well, investigators began early this morning, Nancy, and they started in the backyard. What, you, what we saw was a backhoe, one backhoe with several men, FBI as well as local police, sheriff's department, police department, back there dig, doing a big dig. And then as they dug the dirt up, then you would see men sifting through the dirt with rakes and then squatting on the ground and looking through, look, looking for, for something that appeared like maybe minor, mi minor meaning small, small pieces of what, we're not sure. Fine tooth, tooth comb, searching the grounds. Mostly this search during the daytime took, uh, took place outside the house, in the backyard. Then later tonight, we saw investigators return after, by the way, they did gather some evidence which was removed in a bag. They, they left the scene, nobody was here, and then they returned again tonight to investigate the interior of the house. And we've got officers inside. You can see lights on inside the house right now, Nancy, where they are searching and looking inside the home for what we don't know. When did the FBI get there, Rupa? They got here a couple of hours ago, Nancy. So the FBI have just so entered after the, the home. Go ahead. Correct. This interior, this interior search just occurred in the last hour and a half to two hours. It was after the press conference where police, of course, uh, released the inf information about the prosthetic limb and released the information that they had been digging. Although they well, would Rupa. not confirm what tips. Rupa, is anybody guarding the scene? The cops didn't just leave it, did they? Uh, yes, they left a police car here, Nancy. So okay. there's police tape all around the scene. Okay, very quickly, I want to go to Mark Class, president and founder of Class Kids Foundation. Mark, what's your take on this? Well, this is so diabolical. This is a little girl who has been discarded piece by piece. They discarded her mattress. They discarded her prosthetic leg. By, by marginalizing her from the rest of society, they've discarded her memory, and they've discarded her history. And now, I guess the question is, where did they discard her body? And from everything we're seeing, they're getting closer and closer all the time. Hopefully soon, they can bring peace to this child. Okay, the first segment of Nancy, still no mention of Adam Baker being bonded out of jail. And this is a live show.